Hi guys, welcome back to HHG Studios. Today I'm going to be creating a rock garden and I'm going to be using succulents and a few other plants, but mainly succulents. I have an area in my garden which has not been, I've just not had anything doing well there, except marigolds. But these are a little bit too tall for this area. It's a walkway, it lines the walkway, and I have an orchid rock garden in the background, which I want to be the highlight. So I want to actually keep the plants that are here very low, so that what happens there is that behind, you'll have the orchids showing. But this needs to look better. It hasn't been growing very much. I haven't had success with too many things there or maybe nothing there. Maybe because I have the grapevine there and I think the roots are right there. So it rubs the other plants of all the nutrients. I'm actually going to keep the succulents and the other plants in their pots because I'm really testing them to see how well they do. It's not an area that gets a lot of sun. In fact, it's shaded almost all day. And I think succulents really need sun, but I'm gonna see how well I can get them to function. And hopefully they'll do well enough. Because they're in the pots, I can actually change them out if I have a problem with them. And also because they're in the pots, they don't have to compete with the roots from the grapevine. All right, so let's go. We're going to, let me show you the, some of the rocks I have. I, I love rocks. And I have some of the most beautiful rocks um, that I'm going to be using. And look at this one, for example. Not all of them are mine. One or two belong to my neighbor. And she found this rock somewhere in the country. She loves rocks as well and she'll pick them up anywhere she sees them. This is so interesting. There's this other one I have which looks almost like a rose. And that I'm going to include. And then look at this one, which I don't know which side was in the water, but this is not painted. This is actually how it is naturally. No. Um, I think some part of it was submerged and the other part was exposed and th that clear line is cre was created. There's some more rocks over here. Let me move this out of the way. Very interesting rocks. And these we're going to incorporate. I know I have succulents. A variety of succulents with different shapes, different tones. I like this red one because there are some rocks that have that red tone and I thought they would appear very well. This one as well. And several different ones. I also have this which has outgrown its pot so I'm going to take it out and perhaps put this one straight into the ground. And then I have these which I'm, I want to test. I really love how they look with this purple and silver leaves. And I want to see how, they will, how, well they, how well they will do here. So I'm gonna test that. Don't remember the name right now, but I'll put that on the screen. All right. Now, before I do anything, I'm gonna clear the area. I'm gonna actually remove these marigolds because they're too tall. But I, I like marigolds because they're very faithful. They're always giving you color. And when nothing else is blooming, marigolds are blooming. But they're too tall for this area. Like I said, I want the things here to be very low. So I'm going to clear the bed completely. And then... I'll start by laying out the rocks. The rocks will set the foundation and set the plan. And then after that, I'll add plants. All right. The 
flowers are so generous. Wherever they are planted, they just send more seeds and new plants and you're never out of a supply of marigolds. In fact, some of them are gonna come back up in the garden, but because they grow so tall, I'm sorry, marigolds, I'm gonna have to take you out. Okay, so I've cleared the area, leaving a few of these struggling plants, but I hope they'll be okay. I'll have to fertilize more often, especially because the succulents, all the plants, pretty much all the plants are going to be in the pots. So um, I'll have to fertilize to make sure they are properly fed, but they wouldn't get anything with the competition with what's going on here. So I'm gonna start with the rocks. And I'll start with this one, which is just absolutely beautiful. I'm going to put the bigger ones in first and then add the smaller ones. This looks like it would look good about here. Heavy, but beautiful. And um, gonna put this one I think I want to I'm gonna move this one down a little bit of course as you go along you do your movements um, I love this the tones in this one gonna put it here sometimes you need something to just give it a little catch so I'll do that one there. Um, some others. I won't put them all up. I'll put this one down. And then this one can be up beside it. Beautiful one. Just look at the tones in this one. Look at the colors. Natural.
I've had this for a few years and it has now outgrown the pot. So I'm actually going to separate this and put some of this in. Maybe I'll put back one. They're kind of big for the pot. So I think I'll use them in here. Let's put one here and I'll turn it at an angle. That one I'm planting straight into the ground. Let's see where to put this one. I think I want to put this one here. There's no rule, you know, you just, it's something that you feel. Looks good against that rock, doesn't it? I think I'll put one there and one over here. We should get a reasonable amount of sun at this spot in the afternoon, really. And I'm gonna move this in a little bit and put this one here. If it's doing well, I'll probably take it out of the pot and put it straight into the ground. I have these low growing um, mother-in-law's tongue and I'm going to be using these. These are fighters, so I think these will work well here. I'll put one here. And then I think because we're going to be viewing it from both sides, I'll put the other one on this side. And then this one, I'll just squeeze this one in here. I somehow think it will look good here. I'm gonna move this, this little plant, struggling plant. I think I'm also gonna move this and I'm gonna put it here. This will need a new place. This would look good beside this with the actual design. I think this will look interesting beside this. It's almost like it's mimicking the design of that rock. I think the rock looks like a high rise building. Um, this broke off when I was moving it and I can tell you, you can actually reproduce succulents by just sticking this pathway in the ground and you'll get a new plant or a few new plants. One of the things about gardening, key things about gardening is knowing when to stop. Okay, I'm just cleaning up the area. 
and then I'll give them a drink of water. This one fell over. It needs to be placed a little bit deeper. I need some more soil for that. Yep, that's it.